Hi, it is Wednesday, May the 10th, 2023. And once again, I apologize if this video quality isn't great. Uh, this is the best equipment that I've got right now. So please bear with me. And if you need to just not watch the video and just listen, that's okay. You know, that's something some of us used to do back in the day. Um, listen to talk on the radio and not just uh, watch TV. Um, although I guess a lot of podcasts are just audio still. So maybe that's something people do or maybe you can just put up with it. Uh, if you are watching the video, you can see I've got my shirt, Capitalism. I bought this shirt and you can see the rest of what that says. Socialism. I stole this shirt. Communism. There is no shirt. And today was the first day I wore this shirt out in public. Um, I went to the casino, played for a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, you know, right now I'm, I have a limited um, budget for that and went through it pretty quick tonight. So um, I wasn't able to stay for longer, but it was cool to wear it out in public. I, it wasn't quite like I thought it would be. I kind of envisioned kind of this loud, a lot of, um, I envisioned kind of a lot of uh, interactions and things happening right away. That didn't happen. Although I will say subtly it did. Um, you know, as I was walking in, there was a guy who I know is a, a pro who plays very high stakes who was walking out and he kind of gave me one of these looks like, what do, what do you do? Like, what, why would you wear that? And then, and then it like it dawned on him, like, oh, this guy must not believe in the same things I believe in. And uh, I guess just he had just for whatever reason assumed that maybe I was a guy who did. But, um, you know, I, I got right into a game and, you know, one guy who's always been pretty friendly with me, he, he, he kind of looked at the shirt and kind of smiled and he, he, you know, I was interested. No one, the shirt didn't really come up until one time right at the end, someone mentioned it, but it was such a, a loud statement to kind of have. And it's just right there. It's like the elephant in the room that just no one's really touching on. Um, but this guy, he, he continued to be friendly and we had a, 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 you know, a friendly chat about the basketball and stuff. And I, I really appreciated that, you know, um, there was, there was some other pe people who were friendly. One of the dealers, I, I thought she, uh, she, she was nice. She kind of thanked me when I threw a toke and, um, it, it just, I, I got some good vibes from some of the people there. And, uh, you know, even the people who maybe didn't, um, maybe agree with the sentiment, I, at least, you know, it's hard, you know, when people aren't saying anything like to know exactly who does and who doesn't. But I mean, there was one guy who kind of came sat down next to me. He was, he was like, Oh, Hey Nick. And so that was kind of cool. That was like a friendly greeting. That was nice. Um, and but even some of the people who maybe didn't, it was like, I think I was able to maintain a level of cordiality. And, you know, I, I part of me wants to say, oh, I, I kind of wish I I'd had money and was able to stay there for longer. But, you know, before I went in there, I, I said a couple prayers that I kind of carry around with me. And, um, you know, as I was sitting there, I really felt like, God's running this show, you know, and this money's going to last as long as God wants it to last. And for whatever reason, I felt, you know, he, he had thought that was enough for today. And, um, you know, that's, that's okay, man. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a job. I can go to work tomorrow after work tomorrow. I have decided I'm going to go back to the men's group that I went to last week that I thought was really cool. Probably won't be able to go to dinner this time because I want to watch the Suns game, which starts right after the meeting. So I'm actually going to listen 
on the radio to Al McCoy as I drive home, which this is this legendary. He's been doing the Suns games for 50 years. And, you know, I talked about how some of us used to listen on the radio. Well, that's a guy I used to listen to uh, back in, in 92 when I moved out here. We didn't have Channel 45 or whatever channel the Suns games were on wasn't one that we had. So all I had was the radio for most games, except for the rare game that was televised on NBC back then, um, which the Suns were a good team. So they were on NBC a fair amount, but, you know, only really on Sunday, Sunday afternoon kind of thing. And so I used to most of the games, I used to just listen to Al McCoy and that's how I became a Suns fan. So this is his last year broadcasting and so it'll be, I think, kind of cool for me to get a chance to to listen to them. And, uh, you know, the Suns are in game six tomorrow. It could be the last game of the year, but they're down three to two in the best of seven series. However, I haven't given up hope. I haven't given up um, the belief that they can pull it out. And they've got some really talented guys on their team. They're hoping to get their, their, their kind of star point guard back at, for game seven, if they can win game six, which is here in Phoenix. So, um, you know, I got a, a nice th- thing planned for tomorrow night with that and two more days of work. And then I got the weekend free and um, I might be talking to a guy about trying to get some money um, behind me for the poker so I can kind of start playing a little more and, uh, maybe hit some of the, the bigger games this weekend, but that remains to be seen. I also get paid, so I I can go play at least my regular game um, for some duration. Hopefully the cards turn around and I start spinning it up rather than losing it. But, you know, it is what it is. I've, you know, it's not like I'm desolate. I mean... I got a place to live. I got my bills are up to date and I've got gold. I've got silver. I've got retirement savings. Um, I own, you know, various things through that. So it's not that I'm desolate. It's just that I I'm low on, on cash to, to buy in. And, um, you know, I really like the idea of trying to get, get, get some money behind me so that my savings, I can just start to accumulate kind of a emergency slaving slash cash fund. That's just for, you know, these banks, these banks aren't looking good, man. And if people figure out that they can take their money out and they can get a better yield, buying a a short term bond or putting it in a money market. um, Well, that, that might be something that catches on and, and people can pull their money out of these banks. And all of a sudden, at some moment, we might not be able to get our money out. And so I want to try to get some physical cash on my own set aside that's not for poker, but that's just um, apocalypse money. Um, You know, I was proud to wear this shirt today. Um, This is something I really believe in, you know, and I could see, you know, there were various people passing by the table and I mean, I, I I definitely got a sense from a couple of people that that the kind of that that I had their support and um that it meant something to them that I was willing to wear this shirt um and stand up for something that I believe in despite the fact that it might not be the world's most popular thing. Uh, you know, at the end <laughs> Right before I went and broke, I had a couple hundred bucks left and some guy raised um, with like a really shitty hand and I, I got it all in and I, I had an ace and, you know, my hand had en- ended up being the best hand. Um, and this other guy says, well, look, man, that's socialism, right? He just, you know, because the guy just put this money in with a bad hand and then, you know, ended up giving me money. And I was like, well, no, like socialism would be if I held a gun to his head and said, you got to put that money in the pot. And, you know, people under capitalism, they have the freedom to make stupid decisions with their fucking money. And if a guy wants to raise under the gun with a deuce six off suit 
and fucking double up my pathetic little stack. <laughs> well, he's free to do that. And it's what makes poker a great fucking game, but it wouldn't be so great if, if people were being threatened with violence and forced to contribute to a cause that they didn't believe in necessarily. So, you know, people can make bad decisions and that's part of capitalism. That's a big part of it because um, the way competition works is people who make good decisions end up having better results and people end up with better products, better services, better employment opportunities, better business opportunities. Um, and we, we just would end up with a much better fucking world, man. And, uh, you know, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know, it's something I do believe in and, you know, I'm willing to have conversations. I mean, I felt like maybe, you know, if I had stayed longer, maybe some more conversations, maybe some more people would have seen the shirt. Um, but you know, I'm still gonna have the shirt, you know, and I'll run it through the laundry and, uh, maybe in a week or two, maybe you'll see me show up with it again. So I guess I just wanted to check in, you know, I thought about going and picking up some pot tonight. Uh, I've kind of, I've been struggling with this life recently. Um, I've just, I've been feeling like I, I haven't been happy. Like the days are taking a long time to get through that. I'm just, I, I, and I've, I don't know. I, I guess I felt like maybe a joint could make me feel better, help me feel better. Um, you know, it seems harmless enough, right? Just go get a joint, smoke it tonight, tomorrow, go back to being sober. Thing is with me, I just know that's not the way I function. And, you know, I, this job right now is important to me because I just, you know, I don't feel like I probably have a lot of references in the accounting world at this point, I feel like some bridges have been burned um, just through through the experiences I've had and and what's gone down. And so I think this is probably the best place for me right now. And I want to be able to give them a good product and, and you know, keep the job. So that's important to me right now, even if it is painful to experience. Um, it's what it is. And, you know, I was thinking as this afternoon kind of dragged on, I was like, man, like, I wish I could speed forward three hours so I could go to the casino and wear this shirt. You know, this was like something I was excited about because I felt like it might open up some discourse and some communication and, um, I know that's something I've been lacking. I know connection is something I've missed and something I've been lacking, but it is what it is. It went as far as it went. And, you know, tomorrow I got my, my men's group, which I think is an opportunity to connect at a certain level with people last week after it, I really felt energized um, and just kind of excited to be a part of it. You know, I haven't spent a lot of time feeling a part of much for a while. And, and so it was nice in offering that to me. Um, I guess that's about all I got for today. So God bless and I'll catch you next time.